Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video of my Love to Clean spray mop. I have a little bit of solution left, a little bit over half, so I'm just going to mix a little bit more up quick. I've used this mop for several months now, I think, and so far I really, really like it. It's pretty much been the only mop I've used since I've gotten it. One thing's nice is the tank is flat on the top here so it will sit. I'll screw the lid back or the cap back on. And this is not anything special. This is not anything, you know, sold by Love to Clean. This is Pine Glow Ocean Scent Multi-Surface Cleaner. This is, um, I got this from my work. It's literally a dollar for this whole big bottle. And I dilute it down. So, I mean, this stuff is cost virtually nothing to use, you know, to, for the solution. Um... I kind of liked, you know, the Swiffer Wet Jets, but, I mean, I don't want to be spending all that money for the replace, or the, the bottles of solution, the disposable pads, and then I know at least some of them, or maybe all the Wet Jets, you know, they take batteries to spray the solution. I think they all do. So, I mean, you have a lot of wear and expendable items on those machines and I just it's way too expensive and I just I hate throwing all those products and stuff away it's just it's way too much waste I hate them because uh, I think you know a bottle of their cleaning solution is at least six seven dollars and then the pads you know a pad I mean you're probably You'll do maybe all of or just part of your house, and then you're going to have to throw that pad away. And that pad, I forget what they run, but it's probably close to a dollar per pad. And this, I can put whatever cleaner I want in this. If I wanted to be really natural and just very gentle on my floors, I could put water and vinegar in here. I can put uh, Murphy's Oil Soap for my wood floors. Um, but right now, I'm just using some multi surface cleaner. And then let me just flip this up. And you have this nice microfiber pad, which I'll show you. It pulls off. I'll take it off when I'm done mopping. But the pad pulls off, and then it's machine washable. So I love that fact. There's nothing to, you know, there's no disposable parts about this machine. And it takes no batteries because the handle here, it's just like kind of like a squirt gun it you pump it and i really like that it takes microfiber pads because then it's not streaking your floors and it cleans very well and this thing is super super maneuverable you can put it in any different direction can't do that but I mean I can lay it like that and go straight under things and this thing this is a very low profile so I can go like under the edges of um, like my oven or like the side of my fridge so I can I can do that if I want I really think it's a very versatile mop and it's really nice for hardwood flooring where you don't want to get your floor saturated and too wet because it's just a microfiber pad and you control how much solution you put down. So this requires no batteries, no disposable pads, and no bottles 
special bottles of solution to buy. And you can put whatever solution you want in it. Or, you know, detergents or cleaners. And uh, this was actually a very inexpensive mop. Um, I think the mop itself was around 16, 17 bucks and it came with one pad and then they, my work also sold um, spare pads for this also and I got a spare pad for like four bucks. So when I was looking at it, this was actually cheaper than to buy the Swiffer WetJet hardcore um, mop because I was actually looking at getting one of those but that was like $25 and it probably came with one bottle of solution and a couple pads so if I paid 17 for the mop and then you know four or five bucks for a pad a second pad um, you know this was still cheaper and I've yet to use the second pad. I just wash this one and then, you know, the following week, whenever I mop my floors, I have this ready and dried out to go. Um, and normally, this thing, because I do my whole first floor with this, it can get a little dirty. So before I stick it in the my hamper and fork gets laundered. I'll normally just take a little soap from at my kitchen sink and I'll just lightly rinse it out and wring it out so it's not soaking wet and then just stick it in the hamper and then that way you know the pad doesn't get a nasty smell to it. But I really do enjoy this mop. It's super convenient, even if you want to just get it out to, you know, do one room really quick. It's really nice. Or I can do my whole her uh, whole first floor on a single, on this single pad, which is really convenient. So if, you know, you're looking for a convenient mop and something similar to a Swiffer without having all that extra expense and way too much waste. I don't know why anybody would get them with just how costly they are to operate and how waste how much waste they actually use. But you can see it shines up the floors, doesn't leave any streaks. And this mop is by Love to Clean, and they they have some other products and stuff. Um, this is really the first one of theirs that I've tried so far. I think they have like one of those spin mops that you know have like the you know the spin bucket and things. But um, I had one of those in an O cedar, but you know making space to have a whole big bucket just for you know that one mop just didn't seem that practical I don't have a very big house and you know I, I use a small uh, hall closet as um, my closet to keep my cleaning supplies and I have two shelves in the closet 
So that bucket was on there, plus my normal cleaning bucket. And it just, you know, it was just taking up too much space. And, you know, that had a big microfiber head on it. It was very thick. And when I'd wash it, it would take a long time to try and get it to dry. And it wouldn't really be practical just to get it out to do like one room. Whereas this, I mean, you can get it out and do as much as you want. show you the dirt it picked up. This is a very low piece of furniture, so to be able to get under that lip there to actually clean under to get some of the dust is really nice. And, you know, I never owned any of Love to Clean's products before. And I thought, well, maybe this thing's going to be really flimsy, really cheap. But it's actually fairly sturdy and, you know, feels like it actually is, has a little bit of quality to it, which I was really surprised and happy about. Because I can actually really push down on this handle and it doesn't really deflect or, you know, bend. And... You know, that's actually pretty nice because there are some times when you have to push down and apply a little pressure to get things, you know, clean. All right. And it also has... A nice little foam grip that you know you could push down and adjust if you want and it also has this nice hook which I use and it hangs off of a screw in my hall closet so it's nice and easy to store as well and you can leave your solution tank on and you can see I only use what maybe a quarter of it you know so I can make that one dollar bottle of multi purpose cleaner last forever you know it lasts an incredibly long time and you can see it definitely picked up some dirt and these just a little hard to do one-handed but there we go and I have washed this probably close to, to 10 times and it really shows no wear no you know signs of falling apart or anything and all the microfiber all the little like fingers of it are all still nice they're not matted or all napped down and you can see it definitely pulled up a bunch of dirt my floors were dirty they needed done um, 
I hope you guys liked this video and please like, comment, subscribe. And I hope it was helpful in that, you know, if you were looking for a nice alternative to like a Swiffer to get a nice, easy to use and simple, quick mop, you know, hopefully this video will help you.